Hi children. So again we are getting into the same lesson human body. But today we are not going to see any new organ system. Just we will revise the three organ system what we have seen in last classes. So in previous classes we have seen skeletal system, muscular system, digestive system. Isn't it? So today just we will revise them. We just recall the systems. First system, skeletal. Skeletal system. The important term in the system is skeleton. Skeleton is nothing but bones. So in our body we are having many bones. Isn't it? So all the bones are joined with each other. And that joint, that connection, that framework is called skeleton. Skeleton is nothing but the framework of bones. Bones are connected with each other and form a framework on structure. That structure is called skeleton. So I told there are so many bones are present in our body. How many bones? 206 bones. There are 206 bones are present in our body which forms a skeleton. By birth itself we will have more than 300 bones while growing all these bones join to form at last we will have 206 bones. And these bones are rich in minerals. Our bones are rich in minerals. I told there are 5 nutrients are essential for our body. Vitamins, minerals, carbohydrates, proteins, fats, isn't it? And minerals plays an important role in bones. Especially calcium, phosphorus, potassium and magnesium. Our bones needed these minerals somewhat in more quantity. What are the minerals? Calcium, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium. Have you ever noticed... Uh, uh, advertisement, milk advertisement and all. If you drink uh, milk, you will get strong bones. Your bones will be more stronger because milk contains more amount of calcium. Okay. So, skeletal system, skeleton. Skeleton is the important term. Skeleton is nothing but the framework of bones. How many bones are there? 206 bones. And bones are rich in minerals. Next we are going to see types of bones. We are having 206 bones in total. But whether all the bones are in same size and same shape and whether they are doing same function, no. There are different bones. First one is skull. Skull is present inside our head which protects the brain. First bone what we are going to see is skull and where it is located inside our head and it protects our brain. This is skull, which also gives shape, to, shape of our face. This skull is giving the giving our shape, face shape. Second bone is ribs. Where does it is present? It present in our chest portion and it protects our lungs and heart. This is ribs. Ribs protect our lungs and heart. Third one is spine. Spine connects with brain and backbone. And it is also called backbone. Spine is connected with our brain. That is back side of our brain. From the neck to the. Till the end of the hip region. That is spine. And it is somewhat flexible. That is why we can able to bend. And we can touch the ground. And we can uh, bend backward also. Okay. And it is called backbone. This is the spine. Which connects our head. And from the neck to the hip. Next one is pelvic bone. Pelvic bone is nothing but our hip bone. This is the hip bone. Next, humerus, radius, bulla bones. They are present in our arms. Isn't it? Here, the top one, the upper arm is having humerus. And lower arm, we are having two bones. One is radius and another one is ulna. Next, Femur, tibia, fibula. These bones are located in our leg portion. And this, that is our thighs. We are having femur bone. The lower limb, that is lower legs are having tibia and fibula. So these are the different types of bones. Skull, ribs, 
spine, pelvic, humerus, radius, ulna present in our hands, arms, femur, tibia, fibula present in our legs. Okay. Some bones are protecting our internal organs, some bones giving the rigidity and some are helps in the movement. Next, the longest bone. We have seen so many different types of bone, isn't it? So in that, which is the bone which is long, which is long in length, that is uh, which is longer than other bones. Which is bone? Femur bone. Femur bone is the longest bone which is present in our thighs. And it is connected with our hip region. Okay. Next, smallest bone, that is bone is called stirrup, which is present in our ears. That is, this is the ear and uh, if we say inside, we can't see with our eyes now. Okay. And middle ear is having that bone that is called stirrup. This is the stirrup bone. Okay. So, longest bone, femur bone. Where, it does, where does it present? It presents in our thigh region. And smallest bone, stirrup and it is located in our ears. Not outer ear, inside. What about the functions? They are having so many functions. First, they are giving shape and support to our body. We can able to sit straight. How? Because of our backbone. And we can able to stand. Isn't it? All this because of the support of our bones. And it protects our inner organs. Brains, lungs, heart are protected by the bones. It stores minerals. I told because minerals, because uh, the this bones are made up of rich in minerals, isn't it? So it stores minerals. The next system what we are going to see is muscular system. The next system is what muscular. So bones are covered by muscles, isn't it or not? Our bones are there and bones are covered by muscles. Muscles are covered by our skin. Okay. So, muscular system is nothing but fully made up of muscles. Home and what do you mean by muscle? Muscle is nothing but a bundle of tissue. Have you remember the word cell, tissue, organs and all? Okay, a bundle of tissue is called muscles. How many muscles are there? More than 600 muscles are present in our body. We can't say exactly because uh, uh, some persons are so thin, some are too fat also. So we can't uh, say how many muscles exactly. More than 600 muscles are present in our body. Okay. And types of muscles. Like bones, muscles are also different types. There are mainly three types. One is skeletal muscle. The muscle which covers the skin. Okay, that is skeletal muscle. Uh, have you... Uh, I don't know how many of you are non-vegetarian. Have you ever seen a chicken leg piece? Have you ever tasted? Yeah, the bones and outside the bones that is surrounded by muscles. That muscle is called chicken piece. We are, we, we like to eat, isn't it? We love to eat. Okay, so bones which cover the bones are covers, co covered by muscles and that muscles are called skeletal muscles. Here. See, one side bones are there and bones are covered by the muscles and these muscles are what muscles? Skeletal muscles. Second muscle is cardiac muscles. Cardiac muscles. The term cardiac means heart. So, it is present only in the heart region. So, the muscles which is present in our heart is what muscle? Cardiac muscle. Other organs, we can't uh, see this cardiac muscle in uh, any other organs. We can see this cardiac muscles only in, in our heart. Okay, so this is our heart. If you see, it have the bundle of uh, tissues, bundle of tissues and that muscle is called cardiac muscle. The third one is smooth muscle. Smooth means what? Very soft. Okay, and we can see in hollow organs. That is, uh, we can see in our intestines, stomach. These are all made up of smooth muscles. So there are totally three types of muscles. Skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle, Smooth muscle. The muscle which covers our skeleton, which covers our bones are called skeletal muscles. The muscle which is present in our heart is cardiac muscle. And smooth muscles we can see in stomach and intestine region. Okay, these are the three types of muscles. What about functions? It allows movement. Because of this muscles only, we can able to contract and relax anything. If you want to... Uh, 
wear your cap we have to hold our hands isn't it so that is contraction so the movement of our hands and movement of our legs the movement of our whole body is made done by muscles because our muscle can able to control isn't it we can control by ourselves because of the muscles and the movement is because of the muscles and maintenance of posture maintenance of posture that is sitting standing that is called posture and we can maintain our posture with the help of the muscles and it protects our bones and internal organs because skeletal muscles covering our bones so our bones are protected by the skeletal muscle internal organs uh, uh, heart lungs brain are all covered by the bones only isn't it or not and that muscle bones are again covered by muscles so it also protect our bones and internal organs okay the next system is digestive system uh, while comparing to the skeletal system and muscular system this is somewhat uh, vast system because so many organs are involved in this system uh, this is the very first time you are going to hear these new terms and all uh, no problem uh, just familiar with the terms first of all and then we can study the mechanism later okay more than one organ is involved in digestive system if we say if we take a skeletal system bones only there isn't it if we take muscular system only muscles but if we go in the digestive system not one organ more than one organs are involved okay what is the main thing in digestive system it helps in digestion if we take skeletal system it helps for our giving shape it gives shape to the body if you take muscular system it helps in our movement like that if you take digestive system it helps in digestion what do you mean by digestion the process of breakdown of big particles into small particles that is complex substances into simple substances so during digestive system what take what uh, what, uh, what does it take place absorption takes place that is absorption of nutrients our food whatever we are eating is called food and that food contains nutrients our body need nutrient why to get energy isn't it so what are the major five nutrients can you remember carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins minerals so these nutrients while we are eating what happened digestion takes place during digestion these nutrients are absorbed by our body from the food uh, nutrients provide energy to our body do especially during activities so many activities we are doing isn't it for all the activities we need energy so where we are getting this energy from the nutrients where are the nutrients are present in the food organs involved i told so many organs are involved in digestive system so what are the organs are involved in this digestive system first one is mouth is yes definitely we are eating food and mouth is an external organ where there only we are keeping our food isn't it so first one is mouth and then it is connected with the pharynx pharynx is nothing but our throat region and that is connected with esophagus that is connected with esophagus then that esophagus connects with stomach this is stomach okay then that is connected with small intestine the small intestine here represents the uh, opening that is very small and not the length okay then that is connected with large intestine at last it ends with anus so these are the organs involved mouth pharynx esophagus stomach small intestine large intestine anus so main functions what are the main functions before getting into just try to remember uh, the names of uh, just familiar with the names okay mouth pharynx esophagus stomach small intestine large intestine anus now main functions digestion takes place main function of the digestive system is what digestion what do you mean by digestion breakdown of larger particles that is complex substance into simple substance and mouth secretes what one juice called saliva 
mouth secretes one juice called saliva see i told so many organs are involved isn't it but all the organs are not doing digestion only three organs are involved in digestion remaining organs are just passing the food okay just like a uh, transporter which transport the food from one organ to the next organ the or what are the main uh, three organs involved in digestion is mouth stomach small intestine there only digestion takes place the remaining thing pharynx esophagus are just passing the food okay so mouth secreting one juice called saliva saliva is a juice secreted by our mouth which helps the food to mix with the saliva and digestion starts in our mouth itself so the first digestion where does it takes place in our mouth next pharynx the food passes through our throat region pharynx there no digestion just it pass the food and that is connected with esophagus esophagus also doing just passing the food where does it passing the food to the stomach and stomach secrete the juice called digestive juice so stomach itself second digestion takes place okay first digestion mouth second digestion takes place in stomach then it uh, the food trans tra then it travels into the small intestine small intestine also secrete because third digestion takes place in small intestine it secretes intestinal juice and three digestion has completed in small intestine so absorption also takes place in small intestine so digestion where are the digestion takes place it takes place in mouth stomach small intestine pharynx esophagus what they are doing just they are passing the food to the next organ and nutrients are absorbed by the small intestine because small intestine only digestion is finished isn't it so the absorption of nutrients takes place so the remaining food undigested food enters the into the large intestine and through the large intestine it pass into the anus and removed as a waste product okay that is we used to say fecus fecus is the the out, uh, just unwanted food coming out from our body that is called fecus the which organ ex, uh, is excreting this fecus anus okay so digestion takes place mainly in three organs mouth stomach small intestine remaining organs that are just passing the food okay mouth secretes saliva saliva is nothing but our Uh, H chill. We used to say H chi, isn't it in Tamil? That is saliva. Stomach secretes digestive juice. Small intestine secretes intestinal juice. This is the main function of the human digestive system. Here you can able to see the mechanism. See, the man is eating the food. It pauses. Can you able to see this uh, video? Yes. It is a gif I have presented here. Uh, so this is the total mechanism even though small, many organs are involved the digestion takes place mainly in the three organs and remaining organs are doing just a uh, passing organs that is transporting organs okay i'll see i will explain the mechanism behind this uh, digestive system food is rich in nutrients our body needs nutrients so what happens the food we are eating from the mouth it passes the pharynx now then it travels in esophagus from esophagus it reaches stomach in stomach digestive juice are there so the food breaking of food takes place then it enter enters small intestine in small intestine also what again breaking of food takes place because it uh, nutrients are absorbed okay the unwanted food now it is reduced because it is unwanted food unwanted food enters the large intestine from the large intestine it will travel this is the anus the end portion is called anus okay it will excrete out this is the mechanism of digestive system okay i hope you are somewhat clear if you can't watch the video again try to uh, spell the important uh, words given in this video okay uh, recall the video recall the mechanism recall the words everything okay uh, next class we will see about a respiratory system okay bye children take care